Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm getting so good at these intros, man. So welcome back to my channel. I decided to do a November favorites video. I did a favorites video a while back and it was like a beauty favorites of the moment kind of thing. And I'm like, do you know what? I want to do another one. I think they're kind of fun because I like to be in communication with you guys and I feel like they're a little bit more personal than other videos. So I like that, you know what I mean? So let's just get started with these favorites because I have a lot kind of, so I'm almost doing it. I actually had an October favorites video actually recorded but my mom stepped on my external hard drive and that's why I was like for a while because like I had it, it's, she stepped on it so I like couldn't record it, all my stuff was lost and I couldn't recover it and I tried so hard to recover it but nothing was getting recovered so I'm just gonna film it over one. Cool, so let's get into it. Let's start on the skincare route, like the beginning of our stages. Let's start with the skincare type thingy. So the first one I want to talk about is actually a lip balm that was sent to me that's by the brand Kiss My Honey. I am so obsessed with these damn lip balms. I don't think you understand. They have two scents. They have the chocolate and they have the mint. These are... Okay, let me just read off of it so I can give it justice. It's an organic, all-natural, paraben-free, chemical-free lip balm ingredient. Organic coconut oil, organic beeswax, organic shea butter, organic sweet... It's organic. It's bomb. So basically what I love about it so much is that the scent is not overpowering and when I put it on, I can feel that it's very, very, very hydrating to my lips and it doesn't leave me that chapsticky film. I hate that. That's one of my biggest pet peeves of chapsticks. I don't like that film that it leaves me. So this one, I just love it because I feel like it absorbs very, very well. I don't have to take it off to put my, like lipstick back on because you know like when you hydrate with something, you need to take it off to put lipstick on so it doesn't like interfere with the lip and the stuff, you know? This you don't need to do that. So I really like that. I like that. The, I like the way this dries. I have the chocolate one and I have the, the mint ones already in my pocket because I was about to leave right now. That's funny. I've been using these like, mint, how much do I have left of you? I have a good amount left. That's good. My chocolate one? <laughs> like I left it in my pants and I washed my pants and because it's organic, like I think, what does that have to do with anything? It just melted in the thing. So I just, it just, it got messed up. Oh, it smells so good. So I love those, love those, love those. You guys should check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. I love them. Next on the skincare route. A lot of people have been asking me to do a skincare routine, um, and which I will be making. I'll be making a skincare routine thing. I just want to mention two of the items I've been using this month nonstop, and I've been using them for a while now. They're kind of like one of my like secret things that I love using. This is from the brand First Aid Beauty. Not many people talk about First Aid Beauty, but when I worked at Sephora, I was obsessed with First Aid Beauty because it's so cost effective. This has 170 grams. Like this bitch was full. <laughs> Don't look at it, I'm almost done. This bitch was full. And this one is 56.7 grams. This was like $12, this was $28. Like, hello. That is so good for six ounces. Like that's crazy, that's crazy. So basically what I do, I use the Ultra Pear Cream. This one for nighttime. I like very thick, dense moisturizers for nighttime because I like to feel very hydrated when I go to sleep. So this is the Intense Therapy and this one's just the regular Ultra Repair Cream. I use this as my moisturizer during the day. I'm oily, I'm like oily combo. So I like to use these two interchangeably. You guys, if you guys haven't heard of First Aid Beauty, look them up, they're an amazing, amazing brand. I mean, it's, the name is First Aid Beauty. Like it's meant to be extremely hydrating extremely just repairing for the skin that's what I think of when I think of first aid beauty I think of repair repair my skin please first aid help me that's what I think you know so I'll check these guys out if I was you they're amazing and for the price point like you really you really just can't lose you can't love them let's do lips because it's right in front of me so the lip combo I've been wearing literally all month like I'm not kidding like I've been wearing it now thaw is okay let's just Let's just go ahead and start with my lip liner of life. You guys know, if you guys have watched my channel, since like the OG days four months ago. I swear, like OG days four months ago. I barely had my channel for like four months or five months. I'm like the OG times when I was a baby YouTuber. I'm still a baby YouTuber. But if you guys have been watching me since back then, you know the NYX Peekaboo Neutral lip liner is the my lip liner of all time. It's just the perfect color for me. It's everything that I want in a lip liner. It's basically a more chill, relaxed version of Soar from MAC. And it's like, it's like, Boldly Bear and Sore had a baby. It's like kind of like that. It's like a very chill Sore with a little bit more brown tone to it. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm going to be making a video on how to lip line. I've been getting tons and tons and tons and tons of requests on how to do like lip liner, how I do my lip liner with how I overdraw. And so I'll be doing one of those soon, but this is a lip liner of my life that I use all the time. Check it out. It's amazing. And then the lip combo I've been wearing, which is the combo I'm wearing right now, is actually from Gerard Cosmetics. It's nude with buttercup on top. This combo I get so many compliments on like when I'm at work. 
much. Don't tell Mac people, but I always wear this network. I get so many compliments on this all the time. They're like, what are you wearing? I'm like, kind of sexy with snob on top. Like, I don't know what to say. But this is an amazing, 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 amazing combo together. I absolutely love it. It's just what I'm wearing. And if you guys didn't know, I actually am an affiliate with Jar Cosmetics. So I do have a code. I have a bundle going on right now, and it's still happening. If you guys are still interested in it, it's three lipsticks for 30 bucks with the code Manny Lip. I think it's a bomb code, you know what I mean? Like, each lipstick, I think, by themselves is like 17. How much are they? Hold on, let me think. I don't remember, man. I don't remember how much they are. But basically, when you type, when you go to the three lipstick bundle, it's like 57 bucks for three. So when you put in my code Manny Lip, it goes down to 30, knocks off 27 dollars. That's like 45 percent. Do the math. Do the math. So yeah, lip combo I've been wearing literally nonstop every freaking day. Like my nude, it's getting low. It's getting low, man. And then Buttercup, I just got recently, so it's not as low, but this is actually the one that Jaclyn Hill made with Jor Cosmetics. I'm so all about talking about products that. Our other artists make with brands. I think it's so, so, so amazing that brands take the time to reach out to, to artists and, like, make things with them. And I think it's so, so, so cool. And, like, for especially, like, with Jaclyn Hill, like, I love Jaclyn Hill. And she was one of the first beauty gurus I've ever, I ever started watching. In general, before, like, I even started getting into makeup, which is, like, two years ago. And she was one of the first channels I ever started watching. So if I can support her in any way, shape, or form and talk about something that she created, something that's amazing that she created, I would love to do that. I would love to talk about her products. I can talk about her products all day. I have every single Gerard product that she's made with Gerard Cosmetics. So it's absolutely stunning. Let's just put it on my hand. Just about a cup. So just so I can show you guys. It's so beautiful. It's this beautiful pale pink. It's like a milky pale pink. It's stunning, especially on top of nude. Let me show you nude next to it. See how that has a little bit more yellow tone to it? And this one has like this nice baby doll pink to it. So combined, it gets you like this. And I love it. I do. The the formula is it's like a it's like a demi matte. So it's not a matte that's drying kind of matte, but it's a matte formula. I absolutely love them. So for the foundation I've been wearing all month, literally like everything I wear. Like if I go to an event or if I go to work, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This little bitch right here has been like my tried and true right now. Like it's because the thing is like I don't use that much. Like I just do like I do a little bit and like the like my cheek area and my forehead and like the T zone and then I'll do the concealer on the bottom. And a little bit goes such a long way with this and it dries matte and I I mean I still powder it on top anyway because I'm a powder bitch. But I love using this as my base and I think it's absolutely beautiful and it dries matte and it's great because I'm more oily combo. So this and this bitch stays all day. And it's just and it gives great coverage. It gives you like full coverage. So I mean I'm all for that, especially when I'm doing recording, like I want it to look like I'm really pretty and stuff. And my skin's really nice. And so bring me to the next topic. The brush I use with my foundations always have been my flat top kabooks. I like calling them flat top kabooks because I just do. But the ones I use constantly are the Sigma F80 and the Makeup Geek Foundation Stippling. The reason I love these ones so much is because they have such a large circumference to them. See how like wide they are? Because I, ha I have the Morphe one. A lot of people have been talking about the Morphe flat top, which is beautiful. It's great. It's very dense, but it's so tiny. I'm a man. I have a big ass fucking face. I need that shit to hurry up and like cover my whole face. Like. The Morphe one doesn't really do that for me. I love it. Like I just, it's beautiful because it's a flat top and I love flat tops. But they, these are just what I've been using constantly all month long, and I think they're absolutely amazing. They give you the most beautiful airbrushed finish. They make the foundation look so, 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 so stunning. And yeah, I've just been using flat tops a lot. Um, I'll leave links and, and codes and whatnot that I have for anything down below if you guys are interested. So let's move on. So I mean, we're on the brushes route. Might as well just do some brushes right now. Another face one. Let me just do another face one. I've been obsessing with this brush for hours. Not really, since I got it. The M438 by Morphe. I know if you guys, a lot of you guys haven't seen this one, like it's the, like a very similar one to the Sigma one. But the Sigma one is, I know it's a little bit more expensive than the Morphe one. And this one is absolutely, it's dirty right now because I use it every day. Like I use it for my under eye concealer, I use it for my highlight, I use it to blend my highlight in with my blush. I what don't I use this bitch for? It's such a good brush. It's so compact. It's so tiny. It gets into my under eye beautifully. Like, it just packs on everything that I need. If you guys if you guys can, check out the M438 by Morphe. It's beautiful. And I actually do have a code for Morphe brushes. I get, um, it's a 10% off code. I'll leave the link down below in case anyone is interested in buying anything from Morphe. But I kid you not, like, you cannot go wrong with this brush. You can use it for anything, like, under eye setting, for blush, for contouring. If you want to cut in a contour and just kind of buff. Like, it's just one of those universal brushes for me that I have been obsessing over. You little bastard, I love ya. 
So four brushes I've been using constantly for the eyes, like all month, and you guys have noticed me using them, I'm sure, are these four. <clears throat> so two of them, let's, let's talk about the Sigma ones first. So these are my tried and true Sigma brushes for the eyes. It's the Sigma E40 and the Sigma E38. These, basically, so the E38 is like the smaller, more dense version of the E40, if that makes sense. This one is called Diffused Crease for a good reason, and this one is the Tapered Blending. I use this to put on any color that I need to diffuse with. So I, I go in with my Beaches and Cream with this one and just kind of, it just diffuses literally everything so beautifully. It's a natural hair brush, so I think that's why. And then I use the E38 if I want to pack a little bit more color on, but still be able to diffuse the blending through. So I'll like apply this in the, the outer corner and just kind of blend up. And it's just, it's a beautiful brush. The E38 and the E40 are probably my favorite Sigma eye brushes that they carry. So. I've been using them nonstop. Another brush is the Morphe M433. What brush does this remind you of, though? Hmm? What? Like the MAC 217, right? This brush is like five bucks, man. I think it's like five bucks. It is absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed with the Morphe brushes. And let me just tell you that right now. Like, when I went to the Morphe store, I was like, damn, I need it all. Hi, Linda, if you're watching. <laughs> I think that this brush is absolutely amazing, and I think it's a staple. For, it, for being so cost efficient, the MAC one I think is 20 Honestly, I don't know how much this brush is specifically. I'll leave it linked down below with the price and everything. But you cannot go wrong with this brush. I honestly, I honestly, honestly believe that. If you're looking for a more cost efficient dupe for the 217, then I really would try to check out this one. I think that it would be beneficial for you guys. Especially if you're not like trying to spend an arm and a leg on a brush. So check out the Morphe brushes if you haven't. I know you guys will be really, 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 really happy about them. Okay? My last brush I'm going to talk about is the Sophie 345. I know you guys have been seeing me use this one because I've been using it a lot. And it's, I don't know, there's something about this brush, man. Like, the way it's shaped. It's just like this cute little dome. I don't know why I'm doing this when my camera doesn't autofocus. Manual. Get your shit together, bitch. It's because all the other people do it. Yeah, so there's something about this little brush. It's tapered. It gets in, like, if I'm trying to add a color to very, very specifically into, like, my outer corner, I'll go in with this little brush because it has a very, like, tiny tapered point to it. So it's beautiful at really getting into, like, that outer corner and getting it in there. And then I'll go in with, like, the E38 and just buff out. But I really love to deposit color with this one, too. Even though it's like it looks like a blending brush, it's beautiful for depositing color. And I also like to smoke up the bottom lash line with this one as well. Um, check it out. It's, they're, the Sophie brushes, I'm so impressed with. They're, they're made very, very, very well. I don't know who manufactures you guys, but Sophie brushes, you guys are beautiful. So, great job. Okay, so let's just talk about eyeshadows right now because they're right here. I just want to talk about Makeup Geek shadows. You guys know I'm a freak about Makeup Geek shadows. I use them literally in every single tutorial. Like, they're creamy, they're pigmented, they're $6. Like, I just, I want you guys, I really want to express to you guys how much I love them. So I just picked out a couple colors that were my, that are my favorites for this month. And I've been using them constantly because it's like we're in this like fall, wintery season. I think these colors are actually beautiful for this time. So I'm going to just point them out. A lot of people ask me what my brow bone highlight is. I never really highlight the brow bone, if you guys have noticed. I never really do that. I, what I go in with is Vanilla Bean. This is a matte, it's like a very matte beige color that I just kind of dust onto my brow bone just to give it a nice transition, but I never really highlight, highlight, like gnarly with it. I'll just kind of swatch it a little bit for you guys. That's what it looks like. It's this beautiful, like, beigey color, if you guys can see that. <laughs> The middle color is Beaches and Cream. No, it's, it's called Beaches and Cream. And it's my favorite transition shade of all time. I know a lot of people have Beaches and Cream. And from Makeup Geek, like a lot of other like YouTubers and stuff like that, they have it. But not a lot of them have used it because it looks like such a light color. But when you dust it into your crease as your transition shade, the heavens open. The gates of heaven open. It's so beautiful because it's such a light color and it just gives you a beautiful wash of color. Not a lot of color. It's a very, very, it's a very light wash. You guys can see the color is very light. But I'll kind of show you guys. It's like a very peachy, that's what it looks like. See how it has like that peachy tone to it? So that's another color I've been obsessing with. I've been obsessed with it since the day I got it, so. Another color is right here, Shimmer Shimmer. It's actually the color I'm wearing in my inner corner highlight. It's this beautiful, it's like champagne, frosty, Shimmer. I don't even know how to explain it. It's absolutely stunning. I'm wearing it right now. If you guys can see this highlight in this. You can't go wrong. I wanted to talk about this shadow because not a lot of people are going to be my color, you know what I mean? And so I wanted to find another color that would match deeper complexions to give you the same equivalent that Beaches and Cream would give you. So I actually grabbed the color Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, which is this beautiful tan transition color. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. So if you guys are a little bit darker in tone, but still want a nice transition color, I would check out Creme Brulee. Okay? So another color I've been obsessing with is Coco Bear. I wear it in literally 
almost everything I do. It's just a beautiful warm, warm brown. It's very similar to Brown Skirt by MAC, but it's a little bit darker and not as red. So I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful tone and just dust this into your like lower crease and it's beautiful. The last two colors, Bitten, my tried and true. It's this color right here. It's a dark burgundy red. That's matte and it's just absolutely stunning on every, it's stunning on everyone. Like I've never seen Bitten look not good on someone. It's beautiful. And the last one is Burlesque, which is basically like a darker version of Bitten, but has a nice sheen and shimmer to it. It's not too shimmery though. Let me show you what it looks like. See that? It's on my, it's on my thumb area. Right here. It just gives you this beautiful burgundy sheen and has a little bit of purple and silver reflect to it. That's how I would be able to explain it. If you guys want me to, I can always make a video on my favorite Make a Geek shadows in general, and I can make a whole video dedicated to Make a Geek. So let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. These are just the, the seven that just been my tried and true for this whole month. Okay, let's move on. Okay, highlight. Let's talk about highlight because... See this highlight right now? Like, do you see this glowy, glossy, wet, came out of the ocean look? Like, that's what I love. I love a really intense, strong highlight. Okay, I'm happy I'm putting this out on Friday because, like, damn, like, I know this bitch is gonna run out soon. If you guys have been to MAC and you have seen their pigment sets for holiday, there's this one set I'm obsessed with. It's the one that has life in it. I've used it life in a previous video. Yeah, I know I used life before. I used it. That's my highlight. But as soon as I open English Guilt, which is this highlight, I don't have the actual, like, bottle of it. I have a little sample of it because I wanted to try it first. I've been wearing English Guilt in all of my pictures on Instagram. If you guys see me wearing a highlight without me like saying otherwise, it's English Guilt. It's this beautiful like gnarly shimmery pigment by MAC and it's it's the set it's the set that has like the brown. I can't even explain this. I don't know what the set is called. I'll link it down below for sure but I can't remember what the set is called. There's three of them but that's the only one that was calling my name. Like that set was calling me but we didn't get a discount on it so I was like that shit, bruh. But, okay, so I'm just gonna swatch it on my other hand. So, it looks like this. It gives this beautiful gold reflect to it. I'm gonna swatch it right now. Why am I swatching it? I don't wanna waste it. Look at that reflection. Are you joking? I know. The funny thing, when I look at the color, what are you, what are you saying to me? It gives a gold reflect, but it has a little bit of a pink champagne tone to it as well. And it's just, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's called English Guilt. If you guys can get any set from MAC for holiday, get the one that has English Guilt and Life in it. You will not be disappointed at all. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about blush. So the blush I'm wearing and the blush I wear again in everything unless stated otherwise is the combination of Makeup Geek Spellbound and Infatuation Blush. This combo for me right now... I don't even, like, what is my life? Infatuation is this, like, really beautiful, like, orangey peach. And Spellbound is this very soft, rosy pink. So, them combined, it just gives me this beautiful color that I just absolutely love. And I wear it, like, I'm wearing it right now. I wear it in absolutely all my pictures on Instagram, unless stated otherwise. And I wear it in all my videos as well. Especially if you see me, like, wearing blush without me putting blush on. It's these two in these last months. And the Makeup Geek blushes, they're, like, ten bucks. Dude, that's good. That's not expensive. So I would definitely check out Infatuation and Spellbound. This combo together, even separately they're beautiful, but this combo together for me, it works out so beautifully and I think it's absolutely stunning. So check them out. Oh, and then under eye highlight that I'm wearing right now is Emphasize Highlight Powder by MAC. I like to combine the Emphasize Powder by MAC with the banana shade from the Anastasia Contour Palette. I think it just gives you this absolutely beautiful, like, highlighted, glowy look. The thing is, like, what I did not know, this is what I didn't know, is that when I got Emphasize, it had a shimmer to it. I had no idea it had that. When you swatch it, it gives off a sheen. It's not matte. And I thought, when I, when I saw everyone using it, like, Nikki, and I saw Jacqueline using it, like, I thought, like, damn, that highlight is everything I need, right? But I thought it was matte, you know what I mean? So when I got it, I was like, this ain't matte. This ain't matte. I'm actually obsessed with it, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And, uh, yeah, I've been obsessing with this ever since I bought it. Emphasize Highlight Powder by MAC. Last of my favorites of the month. I mentioned this already, and you guys saw my reaction. You saw how crazy I was being about it. The Morphe Contour Palette. This mother is so... Look how big... Th First of all, look how big this is. Can we just talk about the size? And I have a manly ass big face. I'm six feet tall. Like, I ain't a small bitch. And I have a big face. Like, look how big this is. Look at the pants. They're crazy. Basically, the Morphe Contour Palette, these are powders. And it's seriously, like, the creamiest, most velvety powders I've ever felt. I've been using this bad boy literally, like, nonstop. Like, it's so good. I've been using this shade, this shade, and this shade mostly. And basically, what I do is I'll... 
I'll highlight, this reminds me to emphasize, like it literally, it's so pigmented. Let's swatch some more. Like it's insane how good these are. I'm, I was so, I was shocked and you guys saw in my video, like whatever video I posted about it, but you guys, saw, you guys saw how shocked I was about the pigmentation from these? Like, because it's only 18 bucks, and I was like, no freaking way, dude. Like, what? Like, there's no way. This is 18 bucks. But it was. And like, look how big the pans are. I'm obsessed. What I do, personally for me, I'll use this one to, for my under eye, I'll use this one to bronze up my face, and then I'll use this one to contour, because that's this nice, cool, grayish brown tone to it, and I like a cool contour, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you guys have the chance, check out the Morphe Contour Palette. It is so shockingly good that I was just like blown away. I was blown away. And yeah, that was it for my uh, November favorites video. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I'm sure it's gonna be like 20 fucking minutes because I'm a talker. I'm a talker, man. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any of the products, let me know that you guys have them and what you guys think of them. And yeah, and if you guys end up buying stuff, let me know because I love, I, I love it when you guys send me pictures of yourselves like in the products that I recommend for you or the products that you bought with my recommendations and you guys are like, I'm gonna go buy it and I love it and I love love when you guys tell me that you guys like the products I recommend because it just makes me feel good, you know? Like, I just feel like, oh shit, maybe I know what I'm talking about, you know? So it makes me feel good that you guys buy some of the things I recommend. And so if you guys do, send me a tweet about it, like Manny MannyMUA733 is my Twitter. I am a lot more active on there than I am on YouTube, obviously, because YouTube I upload like once a week. So Or on Instagram, hit me up on Instagram too, and tag me in the videos. Try not to at me, tag me, because at the tag me's I'll see. The at me's I'll get lost. I feel like I'm getting so much better at filming and I'm beginning not as awkward in front of the camera, you know, like I wasn't the camera. And, okay, let's be honest, my last favorite is you guys. Is that like gay as fuck? Um, I just want to say thank you again, all you guys. I know I say thank you in like every video. I just want to say thank you guys again. Like, I've had my YouTube for like four or five months maybe and I ha I'm gonna be at like 50,000 soon. Or maybe when this uploads I'll be at 50,000. I don't know. I don't freaking know. But, I'm at like 50,000 subs and like... <laughs> It just means so much to me that, um, oh my god, stop! I'm gonna start crying. Stop it. It just means so much to me that, um, I've been getting so much great feedback from you guys, you know? I'm a boy doing makeup, and it's, it's, at first it's scary, you know what I mean? But sometimes you just need to freaking jump, man. Jump into that abyss of the nowhere, like, that you don't know what you're doing. And I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support I get, because you guys comment, like, you guys comment me nonstop, and I love it. I love it so much. I love when you guys comment me. And I love when you like my stuff, and I love that when you guys are engaged with me. So please continue to do that, and please subscribe to me if you guys aren't already. I love you guys so, 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 so much. You guys, won't, you guys don't even know, but I really do. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'll stop rambling, but I love you guys all, and have a great rest of the night or day wherever you are. <laughs> Bye. I think my favorite. Blah, blah, blah. I think favorites videos are really fun to do, and I think that's a lot more like. Communication. <sighs> the fucking bloopers, man. But it gives you like that, just that little tiny hue, like to just really. What am I saying, bitch? Come on. This is a favorites video. Talk. I just want to mention some two, some two something. Okay, so let's talk about blush and. Oh my god, I thought that was a fucking like insect. But yeah, I just really, I really like that. So might as well. What am I saying? I need to have a pamphlet of what I- I need to read off of something because I lose tangents with these lights. They're fucking me. This shade, this shade, and this shade. Mostly, be- can you see? Stop it. Oh, by the way, I had an October's favorites- October... Speak manual, clearly. I actually had- I actually had. <laughs> I'm like, I wanna hold on focus too much. But it's not gonna work. I actually had an October favorite. Now it has like this lip, eh, uh, show, you little bastard. I can't live without. Who is emailing me still? It's like the ninth email in this one video. And look, so three brushes I've been using. Did I just spit? Obsessed with making brushes. Probably my favorite. What? What am I, what language am I speaking? Stop talking so fast. <sighs> Stupid bitch. And I think they are stunning when they, um, what? You guys aren't stunning, little bitches. This foundation's stunning. Sorry, my damn card got full. And then I started sweating, and it became a mess. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. I use the blushes.